There will be times when a customer has an unpleasant experience and asks for a refund on a service. When that happens, we will need to process a refund in the system. Our customer Rosie wants a refund on a recent haircut that she isn't happy with. As we know, there are a few steps to process the refund. First, find and view the order, which we can do in a few ways. One way is from the customer's profile. We can start a refund in the Orders tab by clicking on the View or Refund icons in the Actions column on the right. Another area of the system that we can find an order is the Manage Orders page of the Orders tab. To view the order and start the refund, click the order number on the left or the View or Refund icons in the Actions column on the right. Since this is from an appointment, we can start the refund process from the calendar. Here is Rosie's appointment. To view the order, right-click on it, hover over View, and then click View Invoice. Now that we are viewing the closed order, we can move on to step two, which is to remove any employees from any items that are being refunded in the order. This order only has the service in it. Click on the service to remove the service provider. Here we will see the service provider area and can use the drop-down to switch the employee that will receive commission for this service. For refunds, choose No Provider Selected and save the change at the bottom. We'll see that the service is unassigned, which means no one will get paid for providing this. Moving on to step three, we're ready to refund. We will see the option to refund at the bottom of the order and can click on it to start. Step four, we must let the system know what item Rosie will be refunded for. This order only has the service in it, which makes it very easy. Notice the option to refund the tip that was added to this order. If the service provider was still assigned to the service, this gives the business the flexibility to decide if the tip should be refunded or not. Step five, choose how the refund will be issued, the original payment method, store credit, a new gift card, or cash. Just a note, when the order is for a walk-in customer, store credit would not show up as an option to refund too. This refund will be issued to the original payment method, which is a credit card. With the original payment method, we can also change the amount of the refund. This can come in handy if we're only refunding a partial amount of the entire service. When it comes to refunding credit cards, they are only available for refunds for 60 days. This is due to the system being PCI compliant. While this is a pretty generous time frame for a refund policy, if you do need to have credit cards refunded beyond that 60 days, reach out to your merchant processor directly. Step six, click refund at the bottom. We will get one message to confirm that we want to refund the items and we can click yes to finish. The refund has now been successfully processed in the system. Thanks for watching.